it's Ruby and welcome to my fourth day back at university I believe. So today I have got a Harry Potter scavenger hunt because if you didn't already know I'm on Harry Potter committee this year. Helping out at the Harry Potter Freshers activities this week and it's really good fun. So today we've got the scavenger hunt and I'm going to be locationed, stationed at the Great Hall with Anna. We have got three questions which they will have to answer about the Great Hall in Harry Potter and I did the scavenger hunt last year with Beth. I actually vlogged it on my channel if you're interested in seeing and I loved it so I'm really excited for today and being on the other side of the equation. Until then I need to finish the school visit plan. very nearly there now. I don't have to be there for over an hour so I'm gonna quickly record a voiceover for a video um, which is the first of my university vlogs actually and then I am going to go pack myself some lunch and then I'll get started working on this again when I've got everything else done. I'm on my way now. I'm going to be at the Great Hall and I'm so excited for this day show. So this was Anna and I in the Great Hall and every now and then you can see people coming in to answer our questions. The questions were, from left to right, how were the house tables arranged in the Great Hall in the books? Number two, how many people were sat at the table on Christmas Day in 1993? And number three, at Christmas dinner at the Great Hall, what is hidden within the flaming Christmas puddings? And then Anna had to leave. I was on a call for some of the time. Okay, so I'm in the Great Hall at the moment. It has been going on since 12.30 and it's now 2.30 ish. Anna had to go because she's going back home for a training session thing. I am left alone in this huge hall all by myself and it's very strange, it's a little bit eerie because it's so big. So my question is, was JK Rowling inspired by this great hall to create the great hall in the Harry Potter? And obviously it's very, very different, much more modern, but it's huge and it's got the name Great Hall. I'm gonna stay for another 50 minutes and then I can go. Um, we haven't had anyone come through in like an hour because everyone's already finished now, pretty much. But I said that I'd stay, so I'm gonna stay. And I did bring my book, so I am think I'm gonna, I'm rereading A Little Princess again. Um, I read this every year. This is my tattered copy. And because it was quite empty and I'd just been sat down, I walked around the hall a few times and then I sat down and read. <gasps> it's literally been an hour and three quarters since we had anyone. Okay, I'm now gonna go join some other people in the Harry Potter Society and some new potential members. I am sorry, I completely forgot to film any clips just now, but I just met two really nice, lovely new people, uh, Lara and Emily. Now I'm heading back to my accommodation to finish off that school visit work. Just grabbed a few tiny bits from the co-op for dinner, so actually one of the things is for dinner. I bought so much hummus for the Harry Potter picnic and I'm now left with pretty much three full tubs which are going to go off if I didn't eat them. So I'm going to make some hummus pasta sauce and then I can freeze it and I can have, have it another time as well. The main ingredient in this one that I found which looks amazing is sun-dried tomatoes. 
So I found a jar for two pounds, which is loads, but I really want to try this recipe. And I also got some lemon juice. amazing, amazing pasta dish. I am going to open up this parcel which has come through from Miss Katina. I love the way that they package their clothes in these beautiful brown paper packages. This was very kindly sent to me by Miss Katina. Um, Miss Martina is my favourite clothing company. I love, love their clothes. It's just, this one, it's, it's vintage, but it's kind of contemporary at the same time. And it's just all so unique. If you know my cat skirt, the one with the embroidered cats on, which I wear all the time. Yeah, that's from Miss Patina. And they kindly said that I could choose three pieces from their new collection, which is so exciting. I love that photo. I saw it on the website. I'm going to open this one first because it's the one I'm most excited about. Ooh, that's such a nice material. This here is a shirt that says, stay curious on the collar. How beautiful is this? It's just so old fashioned and I'm going to be wearing this all the time. I've got another shirt, but first of all, I'm going to open up this one. This here is a killer for dress. And if you couldn't tell already, there is a Sherlock Holmes theme to all of their new items, which is amazing. Like, they've got a Sherlock Holmes collection. So this is a checked pinnacle. Ooh, the colours on this are so nice. Look at this pinnacle. I love, love this. Now I'm going to try on the final shirt. I got this one in a size medium. I think this will go really nicely with the pinnacle dress. And there we go. I think that this collar goes a lot more nicely with this pinnacle dress. I think the other one goes nicely, but I think this just fits so well. And I'm gonna be wearing this outfit all the time this autumn. I am now going to head out because there is a meet and greet for Model U and Society and I really want to get involved with MUN this year. It's just at the Ram which is the student pub and I think it lasts for like three hours but I'm only going to stay for half an hour. So I thought we were meeting at the Ram and I didn't check right before leaving which is a really silly, silly thing to do because it's actually <laughs> at Lassie Guatnas, which is on the other side of town, which is very annoying. Even though I'm going to be late, I'm gonna go back over. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time because I need to be back by eight if I'm gonna get everything done. I came via Burks. I thought it would be quicker to get to Lassie Guatnas from Bur Burks. I'm not sure if that's right, but I came this way and it's so nostalgic. It's 7.30 and this is my favourite time of day. Um, not 7.30, but this kind of colour of sky. So on days where it has been blue, obviously that still looks blue, but it's just dark and it's like twilight, but not twilight. It's like pre-twilight and it's dark enough that all the lamps have to be lit. It's now 10 past 10 and I didn't get back to you, but I basically did some meal prep. I made some more of that hummus pasta sauce and put it in the fridge and then I basically just sat and chatted with my flatmates for a while and now I've got a video I need to edit this evening. <laughs>